Hi folks, Greg, your friendly garden guy, right here at Willow Ridge Garden Center. Today we're talking about floating water plants. Floating water plants are plants that are not actually attached to dirt. They're just floating in your pond, getting the nutrients out of the water that's in your pond. There's nutrients floating around in your pond water, and these plants can survive without even any soil. Now, they're not going to overwinter for you like that, but you can get them each season, and they help oxygenate the water. They provide oxygen for your fish and all your other uh, stuff that's living in your pond. This particular one here is called parrot feather. Comes in a bundle and just floats in your pond. The tips of these float out of the water, but the plant itself, the roots are down in the pond. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is kabamba. Kabamba floats beneath the surface and it provides oxygen for your fish. Also, the fish like to swim in and around it. It's like a jungle for your fish. The next one is called anacris. Again, it's got a different leaf texture, but it floats beneath the surface of the pond. So you don't see it floating on the surface, it's down in the water where your fish are living. The next one is hornwort. Again, it's a submerged floating plant with a different texture. Fish love these things to swim in and out of. It's like taking a walk in the park for your fish. The next one we have is actually a true floater that floats on the surface. This is called water hyacinth, and if you notice, they spread, they have these little babies that spread, and those little babies then create their own little plant, and then they'll get big and have babies of their own. And you see the root system there. That root system is taking up a lot of the nutrients that's in your water, so it's competing for the nitrogen that's in there, that the same thing that algae eats. So the more plants you have, the less algae you have. The more oxygen you have for your fish. Fish love to swim in and around the roots and the leaves of these plants. Like taking your fish for a walk in the park. This is Greg, your friendly garden guy, saying get your hands wet. It's good for you.